You know, when first unveiling the Model Y, probably one of the flagship highlights that people were so excited to see was the seven-seater option. But now that the Model Y has launched and deliveries have begun, people seem to be obsessed with all types of things about the car, rightfully so. But the seven-seater has now turned into a maybe feature because lots of people have been looking at the back of this Model Y and are just trying their best to visualize how the heck people are supposed to sit in a third row version of the Model Y and they're just not seeing it. There's just no visual that they can interpret like how a seven-seater should be possible, at least in all the front-facing configurations. Yes, let's just address it out of the gate. Sandy Monroe has been doing teardowns of the Model Y and very easily, very easily showed us how a third row could be possible if the back seats are facing outward. Similar to the Model S, which technically did have a seven-seater option that allowed basically smaller people or kids to sit in the back and kind of be closed off from the rest of the people in the vehicle and facing out behind in Sandy Monroe showcase just by taking out the little floorboards that are normally used for cargo coverage allows him to sit in the back of the vehicle and then people could start to put together a picture in their heads of okay maybe just with a little bit of different manufacturing maybe widening some of those internal components in the back could allow for perhaps two people to sit in the back of the Model Y but that definitely has some people wondering if this version in this configuration of hey you got two cup holders back there but no headrests because yeah the glass on the back of the Model Y swoops down way too much for really not much room at all. There was some leaked images that showcased what that option would look like in the back and it definitely looked crammed but the most shocking thing to me is that Tesla's website to this day still says that the Model Y can seat up to seven adults. They're not saying five adults and two kids which honestly I would change it to that at this point but the fact that they're still advertising it as being capable for just three thousand dollars extra which may seem like a lot for two seats but if you consider you know the ability to to add autopilot to the $35,000 Model 3, that's $3,000 and it's just software. Full self-driving is going to be $8,000 and acceleration boost on the Model 3 is $2,000. So three grand for an extra two seats is actually pretty reasonable. But I'm very curious how much redesigning has to be done to the Model Y interior, potentially even something to the exterior. I think this is kind of a reach, but maybe they have to kind of change the overall shape of the back of the vehicle in order for it to actually sit seven people. But that would likely complicate production, so it's very unlikely that'll happen. But after seeing Monroe's teardown, I think that having the rear-facing third row option for two people in the back may not be a horrible idea. It does sound kind of weird to have to get into the car through the hatchback and sit backwards, but I guess people did it with the Model S and a lot of people enjoyed it that way. I'm sure those seats obviously will be able to fold down if you do care about cargo space and stuff like that, but yeah, on all legal terms, it could be a seven-seater in its current configuration, but making them rear-facing as awkward and as bizarre as it may be to be looking out the back of the car as it's driving down the freeway. That might be the only way to make this practical and live up to that claim of, yeah, it can sit seven adults, just not very comfortably. If they try to do this forward-facing configuration, which, again, we've seen a few photos of, it looks like there's next to no leg room and no headrests, which can't be very comfortable, and I'm sure your head would be bonking on the glass roof, and just be a horrible experience for anyone over five feet tall in the back of this vehicle. So, I'm really hoping they think of some thing to combat that seven-seater dilemma, but yeah, overall, I still think the Model Y is going to sell really, really well. Its competitors like the Mach-E currently don't really have seven-seater alternatives either, so without fundamentally changing the size of the vehicle, there's not a great way to have a third row, but hopefully Tesla tests these things out and can find the best possible solution for everyone. But I'm curious what your guys' theories are on how they're going to fit seven people legally in a Model Y, so feel free to let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.